Matthew 21. It's where, where Jesus has just entered Jerusalem. The people, of course, were excited. He was riding on his donkey. It was a young donkey, but a donkey nonetheless. As he rode through, why, people were so excited because the king had come. I mean, the one that was going to change the Roman tyranny forever had finally arrived. And they treated him like a, kind of a modern day uh, parade, kind of like if we were on a street like this. And, uh, and, and he just was out there riding along and the people went up and they, they, they grabbed branches and, and they took the branches and they, they threw them on the ground so his donkey would pass over the branch. And, and they started yelling, they said, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They talked about his authority. They talked about who he was. They talked about what he represented. It was, it was amazing. They were so excited. I mean, you gotta think about this now. It wasn't just the adults that were there. I mean, adults do adult things. It was kids, it was teenagers, it was the family. Grandma and grandpa were there, mom and dad were there, the kids were there, and they were all excited. It was a wonderful, wonderful time. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then it didn't just stop there because as Jesus got into Jerusalem, I'm not sure of the timeline on this, but uh, shortly thereafter, one of the first things he did was he, he headed for the temple. You gotta think about it. Jesus is there and uh, well, he enters the temple. Now, you've got to remember that when someone goes to the church, they go to worship. They go to think about God. They go to enjoy all that God has for them. They come to, to praise Him and to sing. Why, they, they, they lift hands. They, they recognize who He is. They, they love Him. But some people don't come to the temple, don't come to the church anticipating. They've got other things on their mind and that's exactly what was the case here because people came and they were selling and buying. They were making lots of noise. It was no reverent type of location at all. And we saw the, we saw the righteous indignation of Jesus in a very unique way. What does that mean? That means he got mad. But he got mad in a good way. He got mad in the right manner because people weren't worshiping God. They were just buying and selling. That's the point where Jesus went and he began to turn tables over. He began to tell them that my father meant this to be a house of prayer, but look at you guys. You've made it into a den of thieves. Your heart should be welled up with joy as you worship the father, but instead your heart and your head are only focusing on making money and taking advantage of people. And God, Jesus, could not handle that at all. Why, well, the Bible says that there were people there in the temple that uh, were in need of healing. And Jesus healed them. <laughs> that didn't go over well with the religious leaders at all. Why, well, the children ran up to him and they said, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They recognized who he was. And those religious leaders didn't like that at all either. It really was sad. It really was bad. And it was difficult for them. Jesus did what he came to earth to do. He came to worship his father. You know, when, when you and I come to church on Sundays, or any day of the week for that matter. Do we come with a heart expecting God to fill it and to meet our needs where we are? Or do we come with mere head knowledge just merely because we have to go to church? That's what we've always done and so that's what we'll always do. This is uh, Holy Week. This is a week where you and I get to really focus on what Jesus has done for us. What God the Father has done for us eternally when you and I come to church on Sundays, whenever it is, or when you worship with each other in your own home right now, what are you doing? Have you prepared your heart? Have you prayerfully asked God to fill you up? Or have you just merely come saying, this is what I need to do and this is what I've always done and it's just more head knowledge. This Holy Week, my challenge to you is make sure that it's heart knowledge, that you prepare your heart for the King, that you prepare your heart for what God is doing in your life, that you recognize and remember all that Jesus has done for you.
because you see my friends, it's just early in the week, but Sunday's coming and he's going to spread his arms and tell you how much he really loves you.